Hi everyone, welcome for joining me today with Tootsie Cooking in the Kitchen. Today's recipe is going to be the famous Panero Broccoli and Cheese Cheddar Soup. Now these are the things that you would need. Broccoli, either fresh or frozen. Valveda, onions, chopped, carrots chopped. Chicken broth, either your own made chicken broth or you can buy the cans. You'll need two of them. And half and half, um, which in that could be heavy cream and milk. One part heavy, one part milk. Flour, salt and pepper, and butter. Now I have already begun to start with my, with my flour and, um, and butter. Okay, now I'm just going to add... Now that I have gotten my butter and my flour uh, mix going, now it's time to add your onions. Just going to let those cook. I like a lot of onions. So you just let those cook for a few. And what I'm about to do, I chopped up some of my onions fine and some I left uh, pretty chunky because what I'm going to do at the end, once the process is all done, I'm going to put mine in a blender to make it really, really fine, like a nice, fine, creamy soup, like you would find in more of the, you know, like Paneros, like the way that they would basically serve, serve it. If you don't want to do that, to use the blender <clears throat> to really blend everything up really nicely, then I suggest that you definitely slice and shred everything very fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and give this a stir for a few more seconds and then I'll be back. Now that I have cooked my onions some, I can add in the half and half. Okay. And I just let that cook until it thickens up a bit because it becomes more like a as a roux. You really want it to get everything incorporated in before you continue adding your other ingredients and just sweep everything down from the sides and mix everything in. And once it starts to thicken, then we can move on to the next stage. Okay, now it's starting to thicken. So I can add my, my broth. And you stir that together. Okay. At this point, I added my cheese. See there? my broccoli and my carrots. So just go in. And if it's depending on what saucepan you're using, you might have to cut your cheese up. And just go ahead, I'll just the last two pieces. Okay. Add a little salt and pepper, but just add just a little and then go by take, you know, and taste as you go along. Just see how much you might need. Uh, later on and just put a top over this and let this cook simmer for 20 minutes 20 to 25 minutes depending on your stovetop 
and I will be back with the finishing. Okay, now that it's all finished cooking, but there's another thing. 10 minutes before it's done, add your shredded cheese, okay? Um, real, your shredded cheese to your soup and then continue to let it cook for the next 10 minutes. Now what I did was I added my soup in my blender and now I'm going okay everyone everything is all blended up now it is time to get ready to dig in that right there is what I took it from the blender and added it into here that we can put a cover over it put it in the refrigerator or eat it you know whichever serve it um, like that and this is how creamy it comes that turns out when you add it into the blender everything blends together okay this is the Panero broccoli and cheese soup. Thanks for joining me, and I'll be talking back with you real soon. Bye.